What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to episode 4 of making an FPS in UE4. In this episode we're going to cover fire modes and we're going to try to make a single fire mode or a single shot automatic <coughs> and possibly burst fire but we may have to save that for another episode. Forgive my voice, a little nasal congestion but hopefully the show will go on. Well to get started we're going to go into our blueprints uh, folder, our weapons folder, and open our weapon master blueprint. Now we had our start fire and I said that we would have the stop fire later and this is when we're going to add it. So let's add a custom event called stop fire. And uh, we're just going to leave that here so that way we have that for when we come back because we're going to need it almost immediately. Um, but let's actually go back out into our uh, content browser and create a new blueprint in our weapons folder and uh, the, it's actually not going to be a blueprint excuse me but it's technically categorized in the blueprints uh, asset category it's going to be an enumeration and we're going to call it fire mode um, open that up and it's going to create it's going to open something like this or, or maybe this but um, yeah nonetheless this is your enumerator list now enumerators are really <clears throat> it, it, they're just an enumer enumeration that's it they're just a list and there's no value assigned to it it's purely just a name and a description that's it there's no I mean there's obviously all of this like very technical stuff that you have for it and values but th th this is this is all there is to it uh, so we just need three because we're going to have single fire you have to like, or not fire, good lord. Burst. The tabbing is terrible in here. A burst and uh, auto, of course. Um, <clears throat> I just have them in this order because this is how I think of them. Even though technically you, you can have them in whatever order, obviously. I don't know, but that's just, you know, uh, mentally how I think of them. Control Shift S, save everything up. All right, so now what we're gonna want to do is actually take your uh, take your like uh, socket spawn stuff and all the all the projectile spawning. You're gonna just want to scooch that over just just over here. We're gonna obviously still have it connected, but I just want to keep a nice open workspace. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna make a switch on fire mode. And the uh, selection here that we're going to do is uh, a new var is going to be based off of a new variable we're going to promote here, and we're obviously just going to call that fire mode. And we'll be setting that sporadically, however we need to set it, and I will display that later. But currently, we're just going to set up, you know, just the basic, basic stuff. Well, of course, single can still just go straight to here because just one execution line uh, is still just a, a single shot. Um, but uh, the automatic, on the other hand, cannot just go there. We need that to repeat somehow. So the way that we're going to actually repeat that is make a timeline, add a timeline, and we're going to call it auto, and open up this timeline. And what we need to do is add an event track. We'll just call fire. And uh, call the length point one, because that's just going to be our fire length. And technically, we can uh, change that. But um, at some point, we don't need to loop that. Um, and that should be it. So now, if we go back here, we have fire. And we can just drag this. And that should loop whenever this plays. Now, obviously, we want it to be able to stop and control when it stops, so that's when we're going to set the stop. But I am going to do something without, like, any actually displaying the problem and coming back and fixing it. I am just going to do this now. Uh, we need to add a sequence here. And... First, set a new time, and the new time needs to be set to zero, then we need to stop it, and <clears throat> the reason why is because 
there's some shoot it it pretty much just causes like shooting glitches um i believe it causes it cause like some ammo discrepancies as well um i couldn't quite remember but uh definitely caused some shooting glitches and like uh uh not duplication but like uh delays or like uh missed shots or different stuff like that it was not it wasn't right that's all we really need for automatic. So now we can add burst because actually I realize we do have the time to do burst. So let's add a new timeline. Oh, and we'll just call it burst. And uh, what we're gonna do on burst is play from start. And open it up, open it up and uh, add a new event timeline or event track excuse me just call it fire and we can have this one point three because uh, this is we're just gonna have it fire three times because each fire we know we have a, a point one delay so we're going to put one at point one point two and point three so just add add a key Add a key, add a key. Time point one zero point two zero. Point two zero. Point three zero. There we go. And then that's all that needs to be. Uh, because each one of these is 0.1 second apart, and which is our fire er, our firing delay, which technically we should be able to change that, and I'll uh, cover that later. But <coughs> excuse me. But um, uh, from that, it'll just trigger this once, fire three, uh, you know, per burst. Anyways, uh, let's see. Not not what I wanted. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so we can just close this burst timeline, even the auto timeline, and then now we can, of course, just take that fire and drag it over there. Um, now, that's, that's all there is to it, because this will not loop. This isn't set to loop. This is completely just set to play once, so we don't need to tell it to stop or any of that, uh, and, it, and it works pretty well. All right, so now what we don't have is a the stop fire set up in our player, nor do we have a way to change our fire modes. Well, let's head over to our player and set that up. Let's head to player character and uh, on primary weapon released. Actually, we need to stop fire, call it first off the character, and do that. So, if you remember before, we already set up the input for the fire mode button, but before we even set that up, because we don't have anything to connect it to currently, because the code for the fire mode switching is going to be done over in the gun, we're going to set up the fire mode switching and then come back here and connect it in the player. Let's go back to the weapon and let's create a new function called fire mode switch. And it's going to actually be a pretty simple function. We're going to just switch on fire mode. Nope, not that, sorry. Switch on fire mode. I don't like myself. <laughs> switch on fire mode. And then we're obviously going to drag our fire mode here. And then what we're going to do is actually alt-drag three fire modes. Or you can control w duplicate them however you want to do the easiest way for you. I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but I uh, did. Anyways, so connect each one of these to, uh, you know, it's the closest one. So one to one there. And then pretty much each one needs to just be set to the next. 
So single needs to now set to burst. Burst needs to set to auto, and auto just needs to set single. It's as simple as that. If you have other fire modes or less fire modes, whatever you want to do, just kind of follow that rule. It's pretty simple, and that's it. But of course, now we need to call it. So let's go over into our player, and then we need to uh, create a new area called fire mode. Or, um, wait, let's see. Weapon mode. There it is. That's what we called it. Haha, <laughs> I knew. Weapon mode. And then we need to, let's see, get, um, equipped item. <coughs> And, uh, let's see, get fire mode, or not get, fire mode switch. And that is about all we have to do for that. Alright. Well, now, let's check it out and see how well it works. It's currently in single. If we press X... Looks like we're now in burst. One, two, three. One, two, three. Looking good. Now if we press X again. Huh. Looks like we're not working. So in your weapon master, on your auto timeline, right, you need to uh, open it up and what I forgot to do, some of you might have done this if you're smart and caught me, I forgot to add a point that because that even triggers it. Uh, we weren't even triggering it. Yeah, sorry about that. So now if we play, we should see single, burst, and then auto. Heck yeah. Now, there is a looking glitch, and I do understand that. But that's because I'm slowly set it, setting everything up bit by bit and not giving large, large chunks of code with unexplained uh, methods and stuff. So, I mean, everything's everything's coming bit by bit. So the, the fix to the looking and whatnot will be coming later. But anyways... <laughs> Uh, now that we have these auto the auto modes and the weapon or the changing modes, that obviously oh, whoop, walking right into it. That obviously changes a lot about uh, your game com coming from just being able to do one fire mode, which I see a lot of UE4 demos and simple games that look really good and play good only have one fire mode. Now this doesn't look really good and play really good because the animations aren't good and they're not smooth. But, you know, of course, this is, once again, all stuff that we're going to be handling in time. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment for stuff that you'd like to see. Possibly subscribe if you want to catch the stuff that's going to come out more, because I'm going to be continuing this series and making a large amount of progress in uh, teaching many different things about UE4 game creation. So I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.